hundred percent. The community is awesome. I love East Troy. I've loved it since the day that I parked the big U-Haul truck out in front of the first apartment we moved into on Division Street. We had friends and family that showed up, neighbors. Uh, you know, it's a community, like Joe said. If, if, you're, if your neighbor needs help or if you need help, they're going to be there for you. If someone in the community needs help, someone is going to do something to get it done. And that's what I love about it. And I. I like to be one of those people that, you know, roll up my sleeve, so to speak, and get in there and help, uh, help that person. Um, as to what can be better in our community, you know, I think it's pretty great now. And I think that, um, it, you know, if I was to get into the, in this, elected into this position, I would want it to keep going as great as it is now. If I can help make it a little bit better, I'm going to try my hardest. Uh, regarding the recent decision to allow ATVs to use the town roads, how would you have voted and why? Well, uh, being an outdoorsman and, and having a UTV, I would have voted yes. Um, I don't see an issue with it as far as I know or have heard there hasn't been any safety issues at this point that I know of um, so I, I definitely would have voted yes and I, I think it's, it's good uh, we, we live in a rural community there's a lot of farmers a lot of people that work in agriculture um, I know I believe that they could use the roads before if they had a sign on their UTV or whatever but I, I just don't see an issue I would have voted yes also, and I also would have uh, probably worked with the village on expanding it. Uh, I think it's good for our local businesses and uh, good for our rural community. I also own a four-wheeler, and I know on West Bay Road I can't even drive a quick trip right now uh, to fill gas. So I would have actually expanded it with, with, with the village on it and voted yes. So. What is your definition of local government? and explain the concept of limited government as it pertains to town government. Um, I'm an avid believer in property rights as an owner. It's part of the American dream. I, I think what you do with your property is basically you, you do what you want on your property. Um, and you should be making laws uh, because of a squabble between neighbors. Um, I do think that uh, role of local, local government is to serve the needs of the people. And, uh, and I think bringing the people's voice into matters of, of the local government is key. So. Um, I, well, I think that uh, limited government is, uh, is checks and balances. I think that uh, you need to, uh, whoever, is um, voted in, you know, we got to allow our citizens to vote us in to do what they ask us to do. And, um, and, and, I, and I, I think this goes back to the term limit thing, where I think some people get into a position for so long and they think that they're the ones um, that need to make the decisions, and, and that's not correct. It's, it's our citizens. Come to us, tell us what they want, and then we do that for them. Would you vote for something that went against your conscience if the people were in favor of it? Kind of what 
I go along a little bit on the same lines as him because I actually believe that East Troy should, uh, the people around here share the same values that I do. Uh, hard, hard working. We don't want to piss off your neighbors. Want to, you, you want to keep to yourself. You want to be left alone. And and also, you know, if you need help, you, you give help. So again, uh, if they, it would be really tough for I I just I believe that comments. Consciously, I just don't think it would go against any decision the town would make or go against my conscience. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I really don't think they would. In talking with a lot of the locals for the yeah. campaign, what are the concerns and priorities of the people who work with? Well, you've been out um, talking with the locals. Yeah. And what are the concerns and priorities of the people? Uh, transparency. And uh, I know I, I sound like a record player. I keep saying transparency. But transparency in taxes. Uh, uh, a lot of, and, and just, you know, and overreaching government. That, that is a constant thing that I have to knock on my doors and going to the same areas campaigning that Tyson is too. Uh, it, it's it's a repetitive thing. I'm hearing that constantly now. So if we can bring back transparency, bring back voices of the town, I think we can solve a lot of that. Uh, most of the people I've talked to over regulating, they want common sense. Um, you know, and with they, they, they just want to live live their lives the best that they can, and they don't want someone coming in and telling them, "Hey, you know, you can't do that, you can't do this." Um, so they're they're they just they don't want to be overrated, and they want to make sure that there's somebody, some people with common sense and voice and reason. I would vote a hard no. Um, the town, I don't feel the town board is an HOA. Um, I think that there we have a ton of agricultural people in our community. There's people with you know plenty of land to have these. Um, and I don't know, I, I don't want to make assumptions here, but I hear this is a, a dispute between some neighbors or whatever, and to write a law or uh, and and put it across the entire community just doesn't make sense. To me. Much like you said, I think it's a reminder of government overreach. So I would vote no. Uh, I again am an avid believer in what you do with your property is your own business, especially if it's not in the line of sight of the public. Uh, so if, if it's between two neighbors, again, I'm not gonna try to propose a policy that affects the entire population of East Troy. So it's just an overreach to me. Have you been instrumental or directly involved in resolving any issues in the town of East Troy? Please provide detailed examples. I, I have not. I am not on the board. I have not served political office ever. Um, so I'm hope, hoping to get on the board and be instrumental. I, uh, I don't know if I have personally or solely um, done things to, you know, that have affected the community, uh, but with being in the Lions Club for 15 years, doing things with them, I, I feel like my
my hands have been part of things that have been done in this community. I'm proud of that. Um, helping uh, at the school or helping at community events or everything that you go out and do, I feel at some point touches somebody or something in our community. Um, and, and I hope if I'm elected that I can, can continue that um, in, in the position on the, on the town board. Would you support a strong alliance between town police and village police force? Well, I think there should be a strong alliance between the town and the village. I, they, they, they need to work together 100%. Uh, I believe at the last uh, town board meeting I was watching online and I wasn't sure the gentleman's name was Lieutenant somebody was saying that they're, they are working together with the village in training for, um, and, I, and I'm not a police officer and I hate you know, but it's, if they need multiple cars at a stop, they're all getting together to do it, to make sure they're on the same page uh, and, and working together, which is great. I mean, absolutely 100% we need to work together. Um, basically the same exact I think they work well together as it is right now. Uh, so, yeah, I would absolutely support them all. What is your knowledge of Utica Town people? Um, I don't know exactly who runs the entire site. I am very uh, grateful that a lot of the good comments that are coming out of it uh, about me and Tyson and uh, and you know, bring transparency to the community. So I, as far as I know, it's a group of people that believe in the Constitution and they have my support also. Uh, that, that's pretty much it for me too. I get what Joel said. I, I, uh, I don't know all the people who run it. Uh, I think that they're putting out good information into the community. Um, I believe that they support us and we support them, so uh, I'm not sure who's all behind it, but thank you, I guess. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Where are your favorite places to spend your time in the town of East Troy? You know I'm in church, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, obviously, restaurants and uh, any, you know, I was thinking about this on the way over here, uh, and I thought to myself, where, where do I like to be? And this might sound corny, but I like to be where people are. And uh, I love to be social and go out, whether it's a community event, you know, whether it's a parade, whether it's a bar, whether it's a restaurant. Um, and what I love about it is no matter where I go, I'm gonna run into somebody that I know. Uh, we're either, maybe it's somebody I haven't seen in a while, maybe it's somebody that I saw yesterday, we're going to have a conversation, we're going to talk about things, and uh, that's one of the things I love about this community. Now, people might not like that. I'm at the restaurant, like, oh, here comes Ty, he's going to talk. <laughs> I do enjoy going to the parks in the town of East Troy. I think that they are doing a great job there. Uh, I have a one-year-old kid. I take him to the playground quite a bit. Um, the one by Town Hall, really nice. So I do like, I like being in nature. I like being outdoors. Um, I love it all. Um, so I like being in my garage, I like being all over the place. <laughs> so. You both have young families. What are your biggest concerns? And then it says growth slash schools, question mark. I guess I'm not part of the school board or running for the school board, so I can't, I guess, I, I like the rural aspect of East Troy. Uh, if you get too big, then it, there's a lot of things that come in be, being too big. Uh, crime, everything. Uh, so I, I do like keeping uh, the small town atmosphere as it is here. So. Well, I don't know. I, I'm not I have young grandkids, so um, not young, young, young kids. I, I have one, I guess, that's school but um, I, I could I get concerned I think just like everyone probably in this 
this room gets consumed with all our schools and where things are going in our nation. I mean, I, you don't want to have to be, I don't want to get too crazy here because we're talking about a town board, but sure, there, there's concerns every day, the safety of our children, the, the, the safety of us. Um, so I, I don't know if I can fully answer that question, but that's kind of my point, I guess, for, for now. I, do, I, I worry about my guiding kids for sure. This is a two-part question. What do you see as the future of East Troy with the school funding increase in property taxes? And what is your view of critical race theory being taught in East Troy Public Schools? Holy. <laughs> I always get the hard ones this time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, first, I'm not going to answer a critical race theory question about our schools. I, I, I don't know if it is being taught in school. And that's, that's I feel, is a little bit above this <laughs> yeah. position. Um, as for, what was the first part of the question? <laughs> what do you see as the future of East Troy with the school funding increase in property taxes? Well, I don't know what the actual increase was, and I would like to, sit, I guess, sit down and, and get that info before I, I answer that. I, I mean, we all understand there, there's a cost of living expense. You know, it, you're never gonna, your taxes are probably never going to go down, but if they go up, let's make you know, let's let's see how we can stop from getting out of control. Um, and I don't know all the numbers, and I don't know exactly what you know where you know that is or what what has gone up or not. But um, I, I think as being on the town board, I would look at that stuff and see what. like Tyson uh, kind of put it, um, I, I need to look at it and research it. Um, I can tell you as a um, person who believes in uh, uh, low taxes and uh, I'm a fiscal conservative, um, I, do, I do believe that uh, limiting the amount of taxes on people more spend cash, you can do a lot more with your money. Um, I'd rather choose what I do with my money than someone else telling me how I should spend my money. So. Describe and give an example of a major town decision and a minor decision. What's that? Describe, give an example of a major town board decision and a minor um, a major one would be, uh, I would say, over hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that if that were to happen, I would just do a referendum uh, on and let the, let the people vote on that. Uh, I think the people, if, like, for instance, the town town uh, hall uh, a few years back um, kind of was snuck in there. Um, I would try to bring transparency to something like that, and on a huge issue, a major issue uh, like that, I would bring it to the people and let them decide if they want a new town hall. Do they want, you know, do you want a new basketball court? Do you want a new cop shop? Do you, I mean, things like that. I would, I would let the town vote on that, um, and then they would have my vote. So. Well, I think we saw when it came to a major. Decision I think we saw a couple years ago when um, the town hall was trying to be just come up for vote or whatever, and, and everyone in the community that had a voice who came and said, Wait a minute, <laughs> we don't need this or we don't want this. Um, and uh, you know, that that is something that we need to take away from us and say, um, a, min a minor. Brought to the board to discuss or gone over, in my opinion. But yeah, it is there, and now it's something to be dealt with. And I'm hoping that uh, that it does get addressed and it goes away personally. And you know, for everyone, I guess. But. What do you 
unique skills do you bring to this position, and how do you plan to balance the time required for this position with your other daily demands on your time? Uh, unique skills. Uh, well, I got a big mouth, uh, <laughs> so I'm a common sense. I mean, I, I think a voice of reason. I think um, if I hear something that doesn't sound right, I'm not going to be afraid to go, hold, hold on a second here, let's, let's sit and talk about this for a second, because this, this doesn't sound right to me. And I, you know, it doesn't sound, I don't think it sounds right to the people that voted me in. Um, and uh, as for, uh, I'm sorry, what was the second part of that? How do you plan to balance the time? Oh, well, fortunately, I have some flexibility in my job, so I, I, I can uh, work, work during work. I hope Mark doesn't see this. <laughs> uh, but, um, so I, I've been taking the time to watch some of the, the past board meetings uh, on the YouTube and kind of getting to know what's going on in the board and the decisions that are, that are being made and, and talked about. And, um, so I'm hoping that I'm somewhat up to speed if I do get elected into a position um, where I can streamline in there, I guess. What are your unique skills you bring to this position and how do you plan to balance the time required for this position with your other daily demands on your time? I guess open-mindedness uh, is one of the key things that I bring to the table. Um, open-minded to any suggestions to better the community. Um, how am I going to manage it? Um, you know, when you, when you get kids, I feel like you have to manage your time very wisely and I think I mean, you have grandkids, uh, but you understand, like, you know, how to allot your time and, and use it at the best of your ability. Well, you know, you have. So I think I can apply that too. Um, I am a controls engineer here in town, uh, and part of that is uh, time, time management. Uh, so I think being able to allot time to work on this, and I will work. I'm, I come from a family of workaholics and plumbers. So, uh, yes, I do think I can do task. Now that there are agendas, packets, minutes, and meeting video for public reference, what more can be done to make the town board's actions more transparent? And what is the best way to communicate changes made in our town? I think memos and, uh, and writing down who's, like, who's proposing this and why. Like, what, what if, because as an outsider looking at some of these, some of the terminology might be uh, a little weird. There might be some gray area there, kind of like the storage container thing that I think is overreaching. Um, but you know, who's proposing this and why? You know, uh, put that on the agenda. Um, make it more transparent to the people. Know what's what what they're pushing for and why. Uh, that that would be something that. Um, I understand it's a lot of work, but that's something that, like, if you can't do the work, then why are you even for it? You know? Uh, so, I don't know. Um, I, I think that uh, from, now up until recently, I didn't realize that there was a huge issue on, on this matter, personally. Uh, but after talking to some people, getting involved with this, um, I think that huge strides have been made over, over the last couple of years, and I would like to, once I get, if I, if I get elected, um, I would like to see what more we can do. I think that not only did the board, but people in our community helped the board to get to a certain part or a certain place here with it. And yes, I think there probably is more ways to get it out. Um, but I, I think that they are really working hard at it right now. What is more important for the town right now? Building new homes, commercial space, or rehabbing, expanding, better utilizing the existing homes and storefronts? 
Well, I don't, um, from the people I've talked to, they want to see something done with the existing businesses that are in shambles. Uh, and that's the biggest concern that I've heard from the people that I've talked to. As for uh, building new homes and all that, I'm not sure, but that is going to be one of the things that I would like to work on, trying to get those places back up and going or getting something done with them. Because personally, when I drive down to the lake and, and see those businesses that aren't there anymore, it's hard for me to look at. Uh, and I, I really want to see some, something done there. Going back to your question, which seemed like five hours ago about the hotel, I don't know if that's what I want to see, but I want to see something done for sure. Yeah. Um, I would not prioritize any three in any fashion. I would look at them equally, but both in line, and weigh that out, uh, prioritize that. Uh, a lot like what, uh, what Tyson said, so. I'm just looking for this question. I believe one of you mentioned your administrative background. Can you go? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then the question is for both of you. Has your military service prepared you for this role? Absolutely. Uh, you are, when you are in the service, you are serving the Constitution uh, and of, of the United States of America and the freedoms that we all enjoy. Uh, so, uh, being a public servant is probably built into us by now, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I, I, you know, I think that, like Joe said, I, you, you, when he, you were 18, 17, I, I went in on my 18th birthday um, to serve. And, and that's what I really like to do in life is to, is to serve, help, help people, help the community. Um, and not only that, it, it gave me foundation for, for my country and, our, and your country, our country. Um, it gave me a sense of freedom. Uh, I love being an American, I can tell you that. And, 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 and I love 